Sympathy that one has for Liberians. We would have wanted to go out even in a nice manner. Humiliations 
from the same people that were supposed to be supporting. Those things, you should not count them against anybody. They are part of the hazards of military operations. These are things that make the difference between a disciplined soldier and what in my country we call the idle civilian. I'm asking you to redouble your effort. We are already in January. We have only up to end of April by which we hope to be living for our various countries. We have not been able to start the operation in Sierra Leone as we had planned. But the main reason is the delay in the decision of the Air authorities on our movement into Sierra Leone. I'm expecting that within the next couple of days, that order for us to move a mass into Sierra Leone will be coming. I want you to do this with all sense of professionalism like you have done here. I can assure you one thing. The Sierra Leoneans are not crazy. If we move into Sierra Leone with the type of force that we have planned for and with the type of equipment that we have already received and that they are on the ground, nobody is going to dare take a shot at you. I know this from experience and I can tell you now that I'm living that that was why we are still peace here in Liberia. If we had not built up our strength as we did, if we had not shown that capability, that ruthlessness, that toughness, that if we had not shown that we are capable of firing back and firing effectively, we would have still been sitting here complaining. We demonstrated to the world that the troops of the South region are properly trained, properly equipped, have the will and the determination, they have the guts to deal with anybody. The warring factions in Liberia saw that and respected us. This is the same attitude we are going to carry into Sierra Leone and we achieve the same major success. My regret is that having come this far, I might not have that opportunity of leading you. I feel very bad about that. But as I said, my officers of the high command are all going to still remain there. And this is the main reason why I came with some of them, so that you are sure that Ekomog is not dismantled. I am just a single person that is going out. And then a word about my successor. He happens to be a colleague, a personal friend, a close mate, somebody we've been together for the past 31 years. I can assure you that the policies we are executing here are the same is going to follow. So he's not going to let us down. He will not let you down. He will not let your countries down. And together we shall not let down the echo. I wouldn't have much to say except to say that in this new year, I wish you everything that you wish for yourself. I wish you God's protection. I wish you God's guidance. And I wish that by the end of every way you are living, I might also have the opportunity of coming to be a part of the celebration to uh, celebrate with you while you are living Sierra Leone. Thank you very much. Ray! Ray! Child! Ray will remove the headers. Remove the headers! Three happy cheers for the outgoing force commander, Major General SVL Malu, DSS, PSC, MNI, FWC. Hip, hip, hip! Hip, hip, hip! hip. Louder now! Hip, hip, hip! Braid will replace headdress. Replace headdress. Turn, turn.
Sir, no farewell address is over. May I have your permission to dismiss the brief? Sir. Thank you very much. Word and carry on. <laughs>